hello, whenever the month of April comes round, because I'm a sado, uh, poems always come to my head. Um, April is the cruelest month, breeding lilacs out of the dead land. Uh, and when that April with his showers soot, the drought of March hath pierced to the root. But blame, I'm not going to do um, an entire Chaucer reading, because that would be unbearably camp. Um, the other poem that always comes to my mind is by Robert Browning, Home Thoughts from Abroad. But it's only the first stanza that I, that I know. The second one I, I don't know very well, though it's also got some fantastic lines in it. And the story here, of course, is that Robert Browning and his wife, the poet Elizabeth Barrett Browning, spent a lot of time in Italy. And while in Italy, he's looking at a melon flower and thinking, well, it's beautiful, but I'm really missing the slightly more delicate, slightly less gaudy signs of spring back home. So for all people who are, as a result of this lockdown, far away from home, this is the poem for you. Home Thoughts from Abroad by Robert Browning. Oh, to be in England, now that April is here. And whoever wakes in England sees some morning, unaware, that the lowest boughs and the brushwood sheaf round the elm tree bore are in tiny leaf. And a chaffinch sings in the orchard bough in England now. And after April, when May follows, and the white throat builds, and all the swallows, hark where my blossomed pear tree in the hedge leans to the field and scatters on the clover blossoms and dewdrops at the bent spray's edge. That's the wise thrush. He sings each song twice over lest you should think he never could recapture the first fine, careless rapture. And though the fields look rough with hoary dew, all will be gay when noontide wakes anew, the buttercups, the little children's dower, far brighter than this gaudy melon flower.